So here in, and I'm back with the amazing tutorial of motion graphics. And in this one, I have this sort of mood board or whatever it's called. I don't know the proper definition of that, but whatever. Uh, we have these nine clips, basically. These were GIFs, out of which we'll be making one today. I hope that I would be giving each one a minimum of 20 minutes, not more than that. We'll see. The first one, which I am thinking is to do this one, because this is pretty, pretty basic. And yeah, so what we can do is we can get started. Let me just bring it over here. So the animation of this one was something like this pencil rotates and wherever it goes, it also deletes that. So let me just show you. So I have this hammer project open and let me go to edit page here in effects or let me just directly go to fusion and this is my workspace it might be a little bit different from the default version because it is different so if you like this one this is this is to put your nodes vertically and to do that come to this workspace and your presets fusion presets choose mid flow and you'll have the same and also right click arrange tools check this auto arrange and also to grid and in options, choose build flow vertically. And yeah, you can also choose show navigator and all that stuff. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, that is actually it. So middle mouse to pan around this, control this minus, I mean, middle mouse scroll wheel to zoom in or zoom out to the grid. And here you also have this inspector and all those things. So if you'll have this nodes tab enabled, let me just also do this single viewer because right now we have two viewers divided in two parts. We just need single one. Right now, nothing is there, but once you will add any node, so it will add other stuff like media out. So if I add this background node over here, see media out is automatically added. Let me just put this over here and take my nodes over here. And to fit this screen to the view, control F with the short key. So I might be doing this, but you know, you should know that. Okay. So first things first, we need a white plane background. So let me just make this white. As simple as that. Okay. Now we need to make the pencil. Let me just make it a little bit bigger so that it will be easier for us to see how the pencil was. You can even manipulate or create your own pencil. Okay. So after this background, to get this pencil, we need another background. Well, why is that? Because on that background, we'll cut it out. So after this background, click on this background again, and it will automatically add this merge. Okay. So, which is a good thing for us. And right now you can see all screen is black because this background is black and it is on top of this background. So in this background, let's change it to, let's automatically do quick screen color and choose maybe, let's first choose this one. Okay, I think this is looking good, but it's all over the screen, which you don't want. And by the way, if you don't have your toolbar enabled, come here, fusion, show toolbar, check that. All right. And if you don't want that, you can uncheck that. It's that simple. I basically don't want that because it takes real estate and any which ways I'd have to like open this select tool pop up menu. So what's the need of the toolbar? I know that it's easier for us to just drag and drop, but I will any which ways use the select tool pop up, which you can also use by hitting shift plus spacebar. And it's that simple. Onto this background, shift plus spacebar again, or you can right click anywhere and go to effect mask and here choose rectangle because we need a rectangular mask boom you got yourself a rectangle mask and in the center value make it 0.5 and 0.5 all right now because you have the show view controls option enabled so you can manipulate it in the viewer itself okay and you see the inspector that these are also changing so we can make it something like this here i think this much is enough yeah that is pretty good actually to be honest now we have these different shades we can do that later but right now we just need the basic uh image or canvas of this pencil so what we can do is I can select all of these, control C to copy, control V to paste, or we can just and again add some background by clicking on this merge, shift plus space bar, BG is the short form of background, hit enter and boom, it will automatically add this merge and you will have it. But right now we can't see that because as you can see, these two dots depict which viewer you are viewing. So you are viewing right now this node merge one and it's one second viewer. Well, we don't want that. We want to see this one. And in this background, again, come to this color, pick screen color. And this time, let's choose this one. Hit OK. And in this background, again, we need a rectangular mask. So right click, effect mask, and a rectangle. That is it. Let me again make it 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. Let's, again, because the show view controls is checked, so we can manipulate it. If I will do this, then its width will be changed. If I do this, then height will be changed. And these four corners will change the size. So I think this much is fine first of all and we can even bring it above and with control middle mouse i can zoom in the view so something like this and we can even come back to this rectangle and here see how much width we have so i can just copy it with control c and paste it with control v in this one and this way we will have this sort of whatever it is i don't know i can just reduce its height top part of the pencil and put it somewhere around here that is looking good uh maybe we can reduce its height more 
hide something like this and put it over here. Now instead of doing this again and again, we can just copy this with control C and paste it with control V. Now you will have these three nodes. Okay. Now it's not attached. So hold shift and put this merge. Whenever you see this color change, just release your left mouse button and boom, it's connected. Now this background, let's change the color to this one because it's a copy of this one. Then it will also have all the settings of that. So now it's changed. And again, we want to view this. Now you see the color is changed and in this rectangle, let me just bring it above and also increase the height of it to something like this. Now there is something that I need to do, which is the corner radius, as you see over here. We need to change the corner radius. All right. And we can do that by changing the corner radius. But as you see that it's changing all the like it's changing the radius of all the corners, which we don't want. Let me make it 0.5. Yeah, that is good. So what we can do is one way is hiding this behind this one. And how can we do that? First of all, let me just make it this big and now bring it somewhere around here. Now take this layer again, hold shift to take it out or disconnect it from the pipeline. Again, hold shift and put it here in the pipeline. Now, if you'll view media out now, because this layer is coming after this one. So of course it will be on top. All right. Now I can make it smaller. Just a tab. Now, if I hit control F, so it will be fit to view. One more thing that I think this yellow part is bleeding a little bit, which you don't want. So if I come over here and see the width is same pretty much. Okay, so maybe it's with this one. So we can reduce with just a tad bit. Not this much, but you know, to a part where it doesn't feel like it's yeah, I think this one's just fine. All right. Now we need to create this triangle. And again, it's the same process. Copy all of it, control C, paste all of it, control V. But this time again, hit hold shift and you see the color change release. And that is it. This time, instead of rectangle, delete it. And let me see the beauty out. I don't know because we don't have any mask. It's showing us this whole canvas. So shift plus space bar and type triangle. And you don't need to do that. Right click effect mask and choose triangle. Now you have a triangular mask. And also in this background, let me change the color, pick screen color and choose this one. That is it. Now come to this triangle. Let's put it over here this one over here let me make it first of all 0.5 okay no not 0.5 so you can just place these like this simply it's so simple uh yep how is it and let's take this <laughs> how do you think about this pencil okay so let's take it from here and put it somewhere around here so let us see that i'm not looking that great i need to change it a little bit more put it over here this one over here and i think that it is looking good then again control copy and it's automatically pasted wow and that is it okay so i think this is a shortcut i just right now discovered it if you'll select these nodes and hit control v it will paste these okay so if i select these and hit control v oh no it's not like that <laughs> so yeah select these control c to copy control v to paste and hold shift when you see the color change release that now in this one make it pure black and let's make the triangle triangle really really small so let me just take both of these no i can't do that so something like this we just need to fill the tip of it so something like this yep and i think this one is over here yeah well 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 even even increase some um, soft edge just a tad bit not too much and i think that it is looking super cool you can even make a triangle if you select this one and hold shift and bring it down so it will be okay in triangle it's not locked so you can just make it this big if you want to now again take this triangle bring this one over here and increase the size of it so i think something like this will work and to be honest it's looking really cool and it's a bold pencil by the way so to add shades again it's the same process make more backgrounds make more rectangles and place it on top of this okay yeah it is that simple and let me just bring this, make it like this. Yep, that is been good. So this is how we created this, all the effect or whatever you wanna call this. Now, one more thing. Let's change the alpha output of this to zero. Why did I do that? And instead of this, after this merge, add another BG, all right, something like this, and change this to Y and make this background, this one, the top one, make this black also. Why does that do that? Because now, oh, I see these problems. Let me just fix these quickly. So, yep, I think this is, I didn't see that earlier. 
sorry for that but right now as you can see that i have this pencil as a transparent background because you see this checker underlay behind that if you don't have the checker underlay enabled come to this menu and you can see this checker underlay checked so now we have this pencil on this but right now this background is set as foreground as you can see the green output is for foreground and this yellow output or input is for background so to change that what you can do is either you can manually do this like manually change it or hit ctrl t or command t depending on your system which you use so you can do that and or if you have the mouse only then right click and choose swap inputs so now you will have this pencil on top of our background so we have this pencil and we have this white background and because of this merge we were able to put our pencil on top of our white background okay and now if i see this in media out it's it's looking good now comes a part of animating it so how do we animate it well that i also don't know so we will see so let me just make it like this and this okay so let's see how do we animate it we want to make it rotate all right it's pretty simple actually to do that after this merge just hit xf transform and if you change the angle it will animate for example if you want to animate it from the tip then change the pivot to something like this and now if you change the angle so it will like this see how easy it was and how good it is now if i make it like this then you can write something so yeah that is it so right now i'll not do that i'll change my pivot to 0.5 only and let me do one thing on the zero frame as you can see over here let's set the angle to zero and on the last frame let's set the angle to 360 uh let's do one thing let's make it around 30 frames i think 30 frames will be fine let's see from the beginning first i think this is fine this is looking good now come to spline and go to this transform go to angle and right now you can see that this is the handle curves of it and by the way if you come to this menu and check the show only selected tool then if you select transform it will only show transform now you see these two points over here these are your keyframes first frame is on zero frame last is on uh yeah last frame obviously so we need to make it smooth right now as you can see it's coming like zoop 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 which you don't want it's linear so select both of these first of all hit zoom to fit if you don't have it fit a screen so select all the points in the viewer you can hit ctrl a now you can see that these are uh, selected because you have these handle curves over here so don't mess with that and hit shift s now it's smoother now you can see that it is smoother it's a little bit smoother <laughs> now let's play it from the beginning and it is looking really really good to be honest and by the way it's loop <clears throat> sorry for that so yeah that is pretty much it now i can close this mind panel and one more thing which we can add is after this transform or sorry before this transform let's me do one thing let me come to this post stream and after this merge let's add another background which is black and in this let's add a ellipse so elp is short form for ellipse okay enter and this is basically a sphere or what you can do is from this background right click effect mask choose ellipse uncheck solid because we don't want this to be filled okay unlike others which we just did uncheck solid increase the border width boom now you see that we have this sort of border and in this center x and value make it 0.5 and 0.5 yeah that is what we want and also let me just because my show view controls is checked on so i can manipulate its size so something like I can zoom in a bit to have more precision. So I think something like this is fine. Yeah, it is super fine, to be honest. And now once you uncheck this, uh, sorry, uncheck this solid, then you also have these three options, which is cap style, position, and length. So with length, you can make it like this. And first of all, change the cap style to this. I think this is fine. So you have these three cap styles. Whatever you like, you can choose that. So, and also playing with position and length, you can get your desired result. So I'll put it somewhere around here. First of all, I think, yeah, I think this is fine. And now place it, place this one over here. Or maybe a little bit more behind it. Yep, that is looking good. Maybe four, three. Oops, I was changing the wrong values. Yeah, that is looking great. And here, what we can do is we can put this uh, behind our pink layer. And how do we do that? Again, taking all of it, holding shift, take this out. Which layer is our pink layer? This one. Okay. So put this after our this layer. Where is it? I accidentally deleted it, I think. Yeah. Sorry. Hold shift. When you see the color change, put this here. And now if I see, it will be behind that. So one more thing which I can do is I can come to this again ellipse and here change the position to something like this now maybe even make it a little bit smaller something like this should work yep and now if i increase its length so it will be something like this so let's play that is it see how easy it was and how great it is so how much time did it took 
yeah we were under 20 minutes which is really really great so yeah this is pretty much it for this one and you know if you want to add more shades to it so how you can do that it's pretty simple after this rectangle you can add another rectangles let me first see where that rectangle was yeah so after this layer what i can do is control c to copy control c to paste put this over here all right let me view media out and in this one change the background color to something like this come to rectangle make it something like this yeah that is looking super great and it's pretty much it i think this effect is not looking that great instead of this because in 2d it will look something like this only so i can close this now and control left effect of view and after this what i can do is i can add as glow make it 0.1 gain 2.1 or maybe 1 yeah whatever so you see a little bit difference and also after this cc for color character increase the contrast or maybe decrease it whatever you can just play with it and you can get various results you know and after the soft glow also add a prism blur this is what I like increase the aberration strength as 1 plus strength as 0 uh i can also increase some vignette size if i want decrease the vignette sharpness or maybe increase it you know it depends it basically depends and also reduce the aberration distance so we can make something like point over there. so yeah that is it or maybe we should not do that plane is looking really really cool and finally it will look something like this this is pretty much it i thought that i i'm not doing this sort of motion graphics for a long from a long time so i thought it sh we should do this in between of our map animation series which is already going on okay and yeah i hope that you like this one if you really like then like this video subscribe to the channel and peace out see you in the next one bye bye